In this module and course, you'll be using action research methods to help you clarify the measurement problem you need to resolve. Before I expand on how this will work in this course, I need to remind you that this is one part of a bigger picture or plan that you've been building. In 5305, you were asked to review the literature on educational technology and disruptive innovation to look for trends and patterns that will help you to identify and propose an innovation project. In 5304, you created a plan for dealing with the cultural aspects of organizational change and also developed a 40x plan as a foundation for your innovation plan. In 5313, you explored what is involved in creating significant learning environments. And using backward instructional design principles, you created a course or an instructional plan. In this course, you will build on this foundation of work and develop a plan for assessing or measuring the impact of your innovation plan on your learning environment. From the assigned module readings, the weekly discussions and collaborations, and from your supporting research, you will create three separate but related resources. First is an action research plan outline. Second, a literature review that provides the support your action research plan requires. And third is the comprehensive action research plan that you will use to update your innovation plan that you created in 5305. In a nutshell, this course will help you answer the question, will my innovation plan work? And how can I really know if it is working? More importantly, this course will help you to identify the data that you need to collect to make sound decisions regarding your implementation and expansion of your innovation plan and how to continue to move your ideas forward. You will explore how to apply action research methodology to help you identify your research topic, clarify your research question, and identify all the pieces you need to include in your action research plan. Research requires that you plan with the end in mind, so you will need to review all the course modules and the assignments and continually work with this bigger picture in mind as you develop your action research plan outline, your literature review, and the final action research plan. We encourage you to start your literature review reading while you're developing your action research plan outline. Remember, you've already some exposure to the literature in 5305, so you should have a good starting point to guide your action research literature review process. Effective measurement starts with a clearly defined problem. Are you measuring effectiveness of a software or hardware implementation? Or are you measuring the impact these resources have on deeper learning? Or are you measuring your learner's achievement? What is deeper learning and how do you really measure this? What is engagement and how do we really measure this? Right now, you probably have so many questions. This module and course will help you get clear on what you really need to measure, what you need to do to make your measurement effective and how this key component of your action research plan comes together. To help you through this process, you'll be asked to create an action research plan outline that will include the topic of your action research, the purpose of your study, your fundamental research question, your research design, whether it's qualitative, quantitative, both, mixed methods, why have you chosen that design, the most appropriate type of data to collect, what types of measurement instruments will you use, the focus of your literature review, completing an action research plan outline gives you the opportunity to clarify your ideas and receive constructive feed forward. Also to get confirmation you're on the right track and that you have the correct focus for your literature review and for your full action research plan. 